Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Rika. Story time. While I prepare and eat my Lunchables. I got this fucking TikTok song stuck in my head, so if I start singing it, I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. Girl, it's a na 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 Ooh. It's a na. Oh, it's a na. It's a na, yeah, yeah. It's a na. Na, 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 na. All right, all right, all right. Sorry. Focus. Great. All right. So, if y'all didn't know, and you know how I am, I'm like, oh, I'm getting off the day and that. And then I'm like, I'm going to get on a date in that. I get on it because I'm bored, pretty much. And the main reason why I got on a date in that is because I didn't really have time to go out and meet people physically. So I was like, let me see if I can, you know, find some kind of connection, you know, through the internet to fill the void in me not being able to go out. Moving on. I find this fine chocolate looking model man. Okay. Okay. Fine. I'm going to name him... Steve. Steve, he looked too good to be true. His eyes were gorgeous, tall, muscular. He was a model and stuff. So I'm like, eh. Um, <sighs> we matched on BLK and started chit chatting a little bit or whatever. And then um, I wanted to make sure this person was real. First thing you want to do to catch a catfish or somebody um that's fake profile whatever say fake catfish ask for their snap some people they shoot over the snap and then go get their number to try to facetime them but it doesn't always work because if they got green bubbles and you got an iphone you, know, you really do unless you download duo yeah but i added them on snap we get to talking and whatever. Very small stuff. Not a. I don't know nothing about this man at all. Besides, he looks like a snack and a half. So he's, you know, I'm having a party. You know, this and a third. I want you to come. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm down to party. I've been to a party in forever. So I was like, fuck yeah, people gonna be there. Why not go? like i will he was he was like i don't feel like i said it loud enough he was like i will let you know um when i when i'm when we're ready because we're out right now and getting food for the party i'm like yeah okay cool you know and i i sent him a message after and i was like send me to addy when you're ready so i can just come and i didn't get a response but again he said he just said that he was out getting stuff so i couldn't be mad he was busy setting up for the party and then like later he's like what's up you ready for the addy and i'm like yeah here take my number because you know how snapchat deletes like chats and stuff even though he never opened the fucking first one i didn't think nothing of it till after but anyway Time and time and time goes by, I end up picking up my dad because I had to clean up my apartment because my puppy decided sh a shit bomb was the best thing for her to do. She didn't shit it on herself and then it looked like she played in it for fucking... Anyway, that's a separate video. Don't want to talk about it. The whole place was funky. How... The guy, what the fuck did I name him? Steve? Steve? He's like, yeah, you know, you never replied or anything to the message. I said, I did. I said, I'm ready. Send me the address. Here's my number. I said it two times. He said, all right. He sends me to Eddie. At this time, I'm like, I'm tired. I said, I'm really tired. He was like, I really wanted you to come or whatever. And I'm like, well, I'm tired. And she sent me the address and I looked it up and it's like 17 minutes. 17 minutes away. And I was like, it's like 17 minutes away. He's like, oh, that's not that far. I was like, do you really want me to come? He was like, yeah. I'm just like, no, I'm too tired. I don't care. 17 minutes is really far when you're really, really tired. So I was like, sorry, let me make it up to you tomorrow. Let's do something tomorrow. Let's go out or something like that. Um, he's like, all right, have a good one. 
the next day, today. I'm sorry I'm taking so long to get to the nitty gritty. I miss talking to y'all. I ain't got nobody to talk to. I don't have a little boyfriend or girlfriend to talk to. So I'm talking to y'all. I miss y'all anyway. Anyway, moving on. So, messaged him this morning, and this word the heart. Uh, messaged him this morning, and he's like, yeah, so, uh, were you going to come through today? I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. It was daytime, and I was feeling a little bit more confident because it wasn't late in the middle of the fucking night that I was trying to go hang out with him. And he was like, all right, I said, when I'm finished eating breakfast, because I didn't eat anything yet, I'll swing by, we can hang out or whatever. But then I had a, a weird feeling, and I was like, let me tell my dad what the address is, where it is, where it's going to be at. Let me tell my gram gram what's going on so she knows and all that stuff. Um, my dad was like, why don't you tell me to be in a public space, you know, instead of his house? And I was like, I didn't even think about all that. Let me think ahead of the game. I said, all right. I said, but I don't have no money, and I don't want to you know go out and be stuck or i can't i'm gonna be awkward taking him to a you know like a place and then I, i'm just sitting there in the tea poles like hi and he's like you buying a drink and i'm like nope because i ain't got no money no i'm not doing that so he was like why don't you say you got to go to the dog park take the dogs to the dog park and ask him to meet you there that's what my dad said and i was like all right i said hey uh, excuse me i completely forgot that i have to take my dogs to the dog park Reminding you, I did not take them to the dog park. I wanted to see what was going to happen. He goes, I don't have my car right now. My cousin has it. He's picking up his kids. When he comes back, we could figure something out. Or if you're finished by then, you can just come over. And I was like, okay, sure. And I wait and I wait and I wait and I wait. Because I'm trying to see, like, is this weird? Is it normal? Um, um, um. Oh, 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 my teeth. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Sorry. <gasps> <laughs> they didn't put that shit in a big ass bottle. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, waited and waited. I'm like, can I swing by? And he's like, yeah, sure. Let me know when you're coming, you know, so I can come out. And I'm like, okay. You can send the address. Um, I'm going I'm to leave out when my movie is over. He sends the address. I look it up. It says 20-something minutes away. And I was like, no, that's not all that bad because I was driving all the way to another friend's house about 20 minutes or so because when we hung out, it was really fun. And I really miss her, actually. I hit her up. I don't hit me back up considering I blocked her. <laughs> um, <laughs> moving on. So I'm like, all right. I'm sending out the text. I'm like, hey, just letting you know, I'm about to take my dogs out real quick and walk to my car. I took, I did that, and I'm sitting in the car. I'm like, hey, sitting in the car. I'm getting ready to pull off and come up there. Nothing. Again, not thinking anything because by the time I, you know, start going that direction, they probably didn't see it yet. Whatever. Moving on. I wanted to drive anyway, so it didn't really bother me that I drove. I needed to stay awake. Moving on. I drive there. I think I was about 10 minutes away. I was like, hey, I'm 10 minutes away. Nothing. I get to the area, like, where the neighborhoods were. And first of all, it was dark and sketchy already where it was. It wasn't like in a hood or anything. It was a really nice place with nice houses and all that stuff. But the street lights looked like they didn't work or they just weren't placed in nice places because it was quite dark and creepy. When I pull up to the house. Sorry. When I pull up to the house, I'm like matching the address to what's in my GPS. I'm looking at the house 
all the lights are off. It's dark as shit. I'm in a cold as sack and the lights all looking, you know, not right because it's not well lit up. It looks very sketchy. I sit there. I didn't put my hazard lights on yet because I didn't I didn't know what was going on. I didn't want to draw attention if I shouldn't have drawn attention to myself. I'm looking around, I'm looking around, I'm looking around. Nothing. I send a text, hey, I'm here. Nothing. Give him a call. But this is where it sat in my brain. What I called, he didn't answer. And it says, this text now number is unavailable. I was like, ah, shit. Fuck. Some people, they use text now because they don't want to give out their real numbers, especially on dating apps and work and stuff like that. It's not that deep. Call again. Doesn't answer. Call one more time just to make sure. No answer. I'm like, hello? Nothing. So what the first thing I do is I drive around the corner, away from in front of the house, and sit and call one more time. No answer. No text. No nothing. So I say... Well, thanks for wasting my time, and I block them, and I drive the fuck home. I drive home. It was really sketchy, and I was just like, I was just trying to go hang out. But I didn't trust it, so I turned my car right around. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> My dad already has the address and my grandma had the address. So I just went home. I didn't mind the drive. I did not because I wanted to get out the house. So I was okay with that. I wasn't mad about that. But I was more mad about because I went all the way down there for nothing. And I'm just like some bullshit. My nice mind was like, maybe he fell asleep. I don't give a fuck. You got one time, be weird. And I, I don't I don't have time for that no more. I used to have a lot of patience for people that, you know, did weird stuff and then gave them the benefit of the doubt and then try again. I don't want to do that this time. You got one time to be fucking weird and you can watch me leave. I don't I don't yeah. But yeah, that's that was my story about what happened. While I'm setting up my Lunchables, I feel like I should just keep talking until my Lunchable is done. <laughs> but I don't really know what else to talk about because that's, that, that's just the story. I already had an update with um, what happened with my job in my previous video. Oh, the video that I made of me setting up the other tarantulas, um, terranium, I made it. I haven't edited it yet. And that's only because Maddie, the other dog that I have, is just barking her fucking head off in, like, majority of it. And I, in my mind, I'm like, don't nobody want to hear that shit. Don't nobody want to hear that. So I was thinking if I edit it, uh, it would be, like, voice overed some of it. Because some of it, I'm going to be talking, and then some of it, I probably, like, do, like, the speed up, and then I'm talking over it or whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Because if the barking here is annoying, the barking on the video is going to be fucking annoying. Um, ah, I got cheese on my bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna airhead. A very hard airhead. Wanna know what else is very hard? <laughs> this D.